In this video, I will demonstrate a field procedure that involves averaging multiple locations on control points using GPS, RTK, and base rover setups. The survey begins by occupying a local base point and taking multiple measurements from a published DOT network. Subsequent points were then located using a base rover setup on that local base point. The base was then moved to a previously occupied point in somewhat of a leapfrog manner, and the previous points located again. This procedure was repeated until all combinations of points had been measured from redundant positions. As a final check, a point was then located one more time as a check shot using the published network solution. All points were then averaged using the Carlson Edit Process Raw Data Editor. So this process is done all through the Carlson Edit Process Raw Data Editor. So I open the Raw Data Editor, and I open up the raw file collected from the field. I named it GPS Average. There's my RW5 file. So if you look through the file, and here's the base point, number 55. That's the base point from the network itself. Point number 900 was then located with a 100 epochs. All 100 epochs were fixed readings. Then point 900 was started as a new base point. Points 901, 902, and 903 were all then located from point 900. The base point was then moved to 901, and points 902, 903, and 900 were then located, all using the same point numbers. At the very end, this was continued throughout the survey, and then at the very end, Point 903 was located again, but this time giving it a new point number because I wasn't necessarily sure we were going to include that in the net average. Um, and it goes back to the network base point number 55. So to the average these out, to simply process GPS and you set your zone. I'm in Massachusetts, mainland zone. I'm not using an alignment file for localization. So that's a localization file that you can make great use of in other situations. But in this one, everything is going to be processed based on the state plane projection. I'm going to apply a geoid of geoid 18, the latest. And then here's the key as the multiple measurement to the same point you have three choices, use last, average, and use first. So I set that to average. Again, noting that all points were using the same point number. That's key. I hit OK. And you can see the solution of each of these points independently. And as you move down, you can look through the residuals. For Here's 902. And the, all the residuals are within three hundredths or better, two hundredths vertically, 0.901. And you can look at those residuals on each one. And then at the very bottom, there's a checkpoint. So that's 0 0.910 and 903. And again, that's back to a network solution. And there's my residuals, two hundredths north. 300 east and about 100 elevation. Surprisingly, the elevations are actually closer closer than horizontal on this survey. The, what this last check shot does is two parts. It checks how well my first location was from the network to begin with, and then also gives me a what I call a feel good of the my solution here that point number 903 and 0010, I know that everything I have located in here is well within these residuals. 
uh, and that's prior to the average. I close that out, save my coordinate files, and I'm going to process field to finish, and there are my points.